So our viewers at home, my name is Tande Gapkeze and today is a big day, special day. We have the founder of the African Solidarity Campaign, our executive director, oh, Mr. M.K. Steven. Mr. M.K. Steven, how are you today? I'm oh, fine, thank you. And you? I'm also great. And I greet your viewers and, and listeners at home. Thank you so much. I hope they are listening and they are responding back to your message. Mm -hmm. um, we've heard and we've seen that um, this year from May, they have been training in different areas under social cohesion. Correct. What are the impacts made by this training in the community? Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Ndeka, and uh, also uh, viewers. Now, um, really, we, we thank God. We thank God to, to be where we are. We started trainings as from May, June, July, August. We've been busy working in the community, yes. and we focused more on the, the Umsha, Umsha Tuse municipality and King Setuayo district. Where well, I mean, we've touched areas like Escalen, uh, Richards Bay, and um, my, my, um, uh, what is um, Seleni. But in Richards Bay, when we talk Richards Bay, it covers, I mean, all the areas of Mantlazini, Zingazi, Current, and, and so forth. You know, um, we, we've done this very strategically because, first of all, we were a bit selective mm. in, um, in, in, in choosing who should attend. Because, um, because of resources or logistic purposes, yes. we could not uh, accommodate the public at large. Yeah. So we selected leaders from those areas, some representatives, including uh, Amawad councillors, uh, traditional leaders, um, um, some influential people in the area, business people in the area. Yes. Those were some, of, including youth, those are some of the people that we targeted. And through the trainings that have been given to these people and yes. equipment that have been uh, given to them, these people are now able to do the work in their respective areas. Yeah. I can tell you, uh, Mr. Decker, that uh, I, I was just uh, paying a visit in some of the areas like Escalene and Selene, yeah. where I see today some of the areas where, I mean, uh, foreign nationals were not looking eye to eye with locals. Today, people are coming together in, so in different activities. Impressive. You know, uh, at, some, uh, at certain schools, there were a lot of, you know, some foreign nationals, refugee, I mean, kids from refugee background or parents, they felt as if they're being discriminated mm. in, at school, in different activities. But through these trainings and the work leaders are doing now, they have been engaging communities at large, engaging principals, or whoever leader taking, taking any leadership responsibilities in the area. Today, all the kids are, are included, you know, in sports, in schooling activities, and so wow. So all these are some of the, the things. And finally, I may tell you, there were areas where, I mean, we also uh, uh, attended a case where, I mean, traditional leaders mm -hmm. are also in conflict, used to be in conflict with councillors, ward councillors, you know, uh, traditional leader claiming that they are the custodians of traditions and they are, the one, they are the ones who are always there. Politicians come and go. So these councillors should, should learn to respect them. And uh, politicians also, they say, no, we are here as politicians, we have to do ABC. So there were some tensions in certain areas. But we, we managed to bring all the leaders together and we, 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 we spoke to them. Today, those traditional leaders, those councillors, they are coming together, they're working together, so things are happening in their communities. And all these are, these are some of the positive impact communities making. And I may tell you, there are even certain, I mean, uh, businesses now are being run by a group of people which is a mixed up of foreign nationals as well as locals. So this is the, the positive impact the work is, is bringing in the society. Thank you. Oh, wow, such an impressive work done mm. by AfriSoc. It's, it's huge, it's yeah. impressive yeah, to, get, to get a positive mm. result from the trainings that you've been doing so far. It shows that the work you are doing doesn't just, doesn't just go to waste, but they are. Definitely. Some, yeah, Definitely. it's very, very good. Mm. And in conclusion, as an expert in an area of social cohesion, what message would you tell our listeners at home? No. Um, we always say, um, let us united in our diversity. Wow. Each and every community, there are different people with different talents. Mm -hmm. If we remain divided, then we will let the enemy conquer. Then poverty will just reign among us, 
and uh, all those uh, crime rates will go high, unemployment rates will be, but if we become united with, with I mean, in our diversity, you know, this one will come with the talent, this one will come with skills, this one will come with knowledge, this one will, will bring the expertise in certain, a certain field. And this is how we can make our society, our community strong ever again. And I'm telling you, to those who are listening at home, um, to those who are viewing this message, the only thing that can make us to bail ourselves out of this poverty, unemployment, inequality, is just remaining united. Social cohesion is very important in our society. We need each other. We need to learn how we can best work and live together in harmony. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, united we stand. Thank you so much. Mm. This is Mr. MK Stephen, our founder of African Solidarity Campaign. And please do not forget to like and subscribe to our page and share with others. Comment also. Thank you, Mr. Stephen. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.